right, so uh, let's talk about an early election. The assumption was straight after the budget that, well, this is the best chance for the Labor Party to, to get up and over things. Uh, but where we sit now is the Prime Minister's not going to NATO. Uh, I did love the excuse, of course, which was on the 7.30 report, which is, well, we're not really a member and it's not really, it doesn't really matter if you turn up except he'd gone the previous two years. Good work there. But basically, he was caught between an Airbus Albo or a meaningless conference overseas, and we know which one he ended up choosing to avoid. So discussion, early election, early election. Um, the interest rate thing, it feeds into all of it. But, Bronwyn, 54% of the country believe they're headed in the wrong direction right now. So an early election, should that be after August when it's uh, officially possible? Should it be December after Queensland has got out of the way? Um, do you think those things are still live options? I still think an early election is quite likely, most likely. And I say that uh, because nothing has changed. What we've seen is that the Treasurer has pitted himself against the Reserve Bank. And he really isn't anxious to be challenged once, let alone twice. Correct. So if there is an increase in August, uh, then it's quite likely there'll be another one as well. He could go on the 7th of September. He could go on the 7th of December. If he goes on the 7th of September, it's on the old boundaries. He may decide that's an advantage. Interesting. Uh, if he goes on the 7th of Dece December, it's on the new boundaries. And, of course, the really interesting thing is that if there's no interest rate, uh, rate rise in August then it makes going earlier even more attractive. Yeah. But if there's an interest rate rise in August, it's quite likely there'll be a second one and he doesn't want to be found wanting twice. So, Joe, this is this is the central question, right, in terms of the calculations. Look, it's the yeah. Prime Minister. He makes his decisions. He says he's going full term, right? But the calculus is, is there going to be another interest rate rise? Every indication from the Reserve Bank, every piece of information yeah. in and around the Reserve Bank is yes. Yes, that's right. Wasn't their entire pitch around the budget that there wouldn't be? Yeah, look, it was. And obviously they didn't um, frame the budget anticipating or expecting or attempting to fuel an interest rate rise, although there was plenty of commentary around that, so I can understand but that. But they directly I, said I, it wouldn't happen. I still don't... Yeah, I still don't understand the, the advantage in going early. Either you're going to go you know, just after people have copped it in the neck with another rate rise, with the prospect of another one on the way, and the government saying, hey, elect us, remember who brought you to the dance? Um, then you've still got the problem of Queensland. Like, they're trying to win back seats from the Greens in Queensland, um, as if that's going to happen with Stephen Miles still as Premier. I just so December, not they've, August. They've got to let... Well, they've got to let Queenslanders get it out of their system. Uh, if you look at what happened in Victoria in 1993, when Keating got a swing to him after there was a massive swing against the, um, the Brumby government... Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, the, in the, the Kane government, then became Brumby opposition, um, in uh, October, I think it was, 92. Um, that took about three, four months. It was October to March, I think it was. And a much different media and, cycle. And a much, much different media cycle. But, Let's not get too know, far back. I don't want to talk 1993 on But what I'm saying is you can't just go, all right, November, Everyone hates Labor. OK, there you go. You got that out of your system. Yeah. We'll go into December. No, I think it no, needs no, a bit no, more no. time. We'll that. remember. No, no, and again, no, no, I think no. you want, there, there you are want two, to wait until... There are two just other factors. Just, just, let me finish one second. You want to, I think, wait until... Have the hope that once, if there is an interest rate rise, that the next move will be down. And so, and that's what they'll be <laughs> hoping in the first half of it. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's my scenario. Yeah, no, 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 no. I get are, it. I get there it. are two other points. Uh, and that, very simply, that uh, there is a royal visit coming. Uh, which would be just before December 7, and that would uh, possibly wash over whatever happens up there in Queensland. Mm. Um, you've, you've also got the fact that they're going to spend an enormous amount of money advertising how lucky you are to be getting these tax cuts. Mm. Um, they're not going to last till next year. No, oh, that's it. Too little, just too late. Mm. Yeah. And so all the money that they're spending now, the rebates for your electricity, all the money they're pushing in, which is pushing up inflation... Despite yep, the fact that the snake charmer says it's not. <laughs> so it, it, it is, in my view, uh, still quite likely, most likely, an early election. All right, well, we won't watch and see, but those are the stakes. And again, you know, you're, you're a super political nerd like us, so we, we talk about <laughs> these things all as the options. Which brings me to what I think was one of, if not the biggest thing that actually happened in Canberra today in and around politics, which is, will... The government and opposition agreed to the idea that Bob Catter should have his own portrait in the parliament. Now, he's served for a long period of time, and I'm sure there's a whole series of things that qualify you for the discussion. 
But why would he be getting a portrait in particular? Because there will be a minority government after the next election, <laughs> meaning <laughs> that they may well need a certain vote from a certain person. How loony is my suggestion here, uh, Bronwyn? Because, again, now again, there, there are things that qualify, and he qualifies as, as to be remembered um, uh, for all time as a great representative of his community. But, geez, isn't it convenient if you can mm. help facilitate a place in history at the same time as please back in my minority government? Yeah, wow. Well. Is that uh, how it works I, or not at all? I, I, I can see that poor motive on behalf of a poor government, which we've got. But I think Bobcat is better than that. Um, if they're going to have his portrait painted and hung in the parliament, great. I like Bob Catter so very I. much. I love Always Bob. Have. I'm just saying, geez, isn't it convenient? Uh, of all of the long-serving oh, MPs, oh, the I one who we're going to give a yeah, the one we're going to give a portrait to it it has a vote on a minority government. And it is just another example to so announce it now because it's part of the early election. But, and that's and that's that's my point too, Joe, which is that you're seeing right that you saw all of those finance reforms in and around. Uh, the teals, which basically were going to cap how much they could spend, yep. not at this election, but the next election, all of that's been parked. Yep. Why? Because you may need one or two of them on the yeah, other I, side. I don't know. I, I think I can exclusively reveal that um, the government would much rather govern with the confidence of Bob Catter um, than, than the Greens, than I the get Greens it. or 100%. the teals. So that, that certainly the the hope, like the best, the best hope for the party now, I think, among most hardheads, is minority government without having to rely on the Greens or the Teals. So I think there's about four others. There's uh, Bob Cutter, um, Rebecca Sharkey, maybe Helen Haynes. I don't know if she counts as a Teal or not, or another one. But um, but they don't want to go... Well, they don't want to touch the Greens or the Teals with a They might ball. think they so. can buy Bob Catter, but I don't think they can. No, I I think, and, no, and look, Bob and of course I'm not suggesting, anyway. and I'm just saying, oh, as part of the butter-up, mm -hmm. right? As no. part of the butter-up... I do not. They've reached into the fridge, and this is part of the butter-up. How is the other side going to form government?